Charles Warner has always been an outdoorsman at heart. He found his true calling after giving up his job as a meat cutter to start a ranch in northern Idaho. Not a horse or cattle ranch, but an elk ranch. Raising these animals is one of the most interesting, exciting things I've ever done in my life. And Charles is not alone. Elk ranching has seen a dramatic rise in popularity in the U.S. in the past decade, not only for its role as a trophy hunting animal, but for the host of healthy, diversified products that all come from this majestic animal. Well, there's a great demand for elk uh, because of the meat being so healthy for you, the velvet antler having the medicinal purposes that it has, the desire of, of many artisans for the artifacts that they can make from elk antler. This has been going on for centuries, so it's a, it's a natural for people to get into. Most people think of elk as a majestic wild animal that you rarely see up close. But few realize that elk are also raised in domestic settings, just like cattle. The North American Elk Breeders Association, or NABA, exists for this very reason, to portray elk farming as a growing, healthy, and legitimate agricultural industry. Well, elk are environmentally friendly. We, we think of them as the new generation of farming. It's just the most interesting thing I've ever done. I just, uh, to raise them from infancy to this stage. And that's a big reason why Charles decided to become an elk farmer in the prime of his life. He considers it a perfect way for an outdoorsman to stay close to nature. Today, it's illegal to capture wild elk, and no modern elk rancher would ever do so. The elk raised by ranchers are domesticated descendants of elk that have been raised behind wire on ranches for more than 40 generations. I've always admired elk for their antlers and, and the, you know how majestic they are, and it's always been the, considered the top trophy in the, in the western United States, and, and I wanted an alternative livestock. I grew up on a cattle ranch raising cattle, horses, and pigs, and, and uh, I knew I wanted something different. We consider them livestock that are going to be harvested, just like any other, like a, uh, a beef would be harvested. We give them vaccinations to keep them healthy and warmer, and uh, things that, of course, the wild elk never get. The North American Elk Breeders Association represents the strength of its hundreds of members, who have been raising elk for generations for the economic potential of this agricultural industry. With an impact of $25 million on the state of Idaho's economy alone, the NAEBA sees a strong four-way demand for this animal that is both fun to raise and extremely versatile. The low-fat meat is one huge benefit. Their, their antlers are prized for uh, furniture building and, and also for velvet antler for medicinal purposes. And, and uh, um, you know, they're just a great trophy as well. Well, the main purpose of the North American Elk Breeders Association is to represent thousands of elk ranches uh, throughout the United States, Canada, and even New Zealand. And uh, the North American Elk Breeders Association is the uh, number one breed association for not only elk breeders, but also for deer breeders in the United States and Canada. For one thing, elk are prized as breeding stock. The value of registered elk is comparable to the value of prized cattle. Elk are a little bit more difficult to, to get a hold of than cattle, so uh, good breeding stock is a, is a premium, so uh, that makes a good investment and, uh, and then of course the, the value of them continues to go up as the markets increase. For hundreds of years, elk antler has been considered as a medical and dietary aid. In fact, in the Orient, velvet antler, which is the elk antler before it has started to calcify, has been used as a natural remedy for a variety of ailments for over 2,000 years. That antler is good for a lot of things when it's in that growth stage. It's uh, valuable for the, uh, the amount of chondroitin and glucosamine that it has in it. It's good for joint uh, structure and movement. It also uh, helps the uh, immune system to be stronger. And there's just so many things that it can be used for. There is also an established and growing market for elk meat, highly regarded in fine dining restaurants and gourmet centers. Venison consumption has more than doubled in the U.S. in the last decade, and elk meat is considered the premier venison, not only tasty, but lower in fat, cholesterol, and calories than traditional red meat. Elk meat is very low in cholesterol and fat, and it's very high in omega-3 fatty acids, which makes it a, a natural for and one of the reasons we call it the heart-smart meat. Finally, many people enjoy hunting a trophy animal or just watching elk in a natural setting. 
and the sale of elk to game parks and exhibits is on the rise. These game preserves allow physically challenged hunters an equal opportunity experience that would otherwise not be available to them in the wild, while at the same time providing a safer hunting experience. It's possible that our hunting preserves will preserve the Second Amendment, our right, and our right to carry bear arms, and preserve uh, a, a hunting that I knew 40 years ago that isn't here today. And so we can offer that to people that they won't find anywhere else. Just like us, elk ranchers have often been attracted to the industry because of the pure, majestic appearance of an elk. But they decide to make elk their livelihood after discovering the economic potential of elk. As an alternative livestock, elk have more history and offer more potential than any other animal. And elk ranching promises to keep this majestic animal around for all to enjoy.